Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Unpack Me Reverse Engineering Challenge for 300 points. Let's get into it. Can you get the flag? Reverse engineer this binary. Now right off the bat, this tag here that says packed makes me think, okay, this might be a packed binary, which is just a more compressed version of the binary using something called a packer. It's almost like zipping it into an archive, but not really, right? It's just packing the binary. It further obfuscates it, right? So if we tried to open it in, say, Cutter, for instance, it's going to be confusing. It's not going to be straightforward. And I can actually show you that in a second here, okay? So I already have the file downloaded. Let's go ahead and run it just to see what it looks like. What's my favorite number? Okay, it's another number one like the last one. And we'll just exit out of that. You'll notice UPX here. That's probably the packer they used to pack it with. So going off of that, we should be able to figure this out pretty easily because you can unpack things with the UPX command or tool just as much as you can pack them with it. So let's go ahead and see what this actually looks like in Cutter, just so that you can get an idea of why or what a packed executable looks like. Okay. All right, maximizing that. You'll notice there's no main function and all of these are pretty unreadable, right? Just, there's nothing that looks, I mean, this might be the main function, maybe. It's hard to tell though. So you'll notice that we'll get extra functions and stuff here in a second when we actually unpack it. So we'll close without saving since we don't want none of that boo-boo. Now we're going to run strings on it just so you can see that this is indeed packed with UPX as you'll see down here at the bottom. Cool. Now how do we unpack with, you know, UPX? Well. Let's look at the help menu for it first. If we scroll up, we'll see decompress. We probably want that. And let's say tech K to keep backup file. Sure, let, because we always want to make sure we keep the original file anytime we change it. So let's go ahead and clear that. We'll do upx kd unpack me dash use px. Now, if we do ls, we'll see that we have our backup file right here and the unpack me upx here. Now, We'll just run strings on it again, just to show you that, look, see all that crap we had before is not there anymore. And we have a lot more plain text strings than we did before. It's because we uncompressed the data. So now if we run cutter on it, You'll notice there's a lot more stuff here, huh? But it doesn't matter because if we scroll down a little bit, we'll find a main function and that is what we're mainly concerned with. Scrolling down, we'll see a similar structure to what we saw before with the previous challenge where, you know, we had the what's my favorite number and here's the check that tells us whether our input is valid or not. So we can assume that this if condition, once again, is referring to our user input. In fact, if we look here, arg2 is probably the argument being passed in through STDN, I'd imagine. Yeah, it looks like it, that is the case here. So, and we can again tell by the, you know, sorry, that's not it, is that this is the contrasting else condition to our if condition. So all we need to do is take this value right here convert it to decimal and we should have our favorite number and get the flag. Oh, I just did control C. Ah, my fault. I just, I have that on, I have it on natural reflex to do control shift C when I'm dealing with the terminal. So anyways, okay, let's grab that again. Come on, scroll. There we go down okay this time control c there we go and now we want to just run our upx what's my favorite number there we go whoops getting ahead of myself there we go that's what we want and then clear 
run it again. Okay, there's the flag. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.